Hi and welcome to WorkPro. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to use uh, WorkPro's Australian Police Checking Service. So the first thing you're going to do is log in as an administrator. You're going to be sending a, a candidate an application request for an Australian Police Check. So opening up your dashboard, selecting request, entering the candidate's name, their email address, selecting background checks, and police check. So there's a few configuration options here. One is you can determine who pays for the uh, the check. You need to enter the role that the person's doing, whether it's for employment or volunteer purposes, the industry they're working in, the state they're working within, and whether they have contact with vulnerable groups. So once that information has been processed or entered, you can then send the request to the candidate. So once the request has been sent to the candidate, they will receive an email that email is, uh, contains a live link and what we call a single use token. Our system also takes over in that if the candidate does not action that request, our system automatically sends them reminders. There is three reminders sent three days apart. So now I'm going to show you the candidate experience. So this is available on any device. So the candidate either needs to sign up or they need to log into the platform if they're an existing user of WorkPro. So logging in and entering the single use token that's contained in the email invitation. Clicking background checks and starting their police check application. Four fields of personal information that are required and providing consent. So here's all of the check information and the purpose of the check and also any company that uh, they need to approve to view the final police check certificate. They move on to uploading their four identity documents and a selfie holding one of the government issued photo IDs. And then finally, entering their email address, providing consent and electronically signing the application form. So once the application's been completed, that will be electronically stored in the candidate's digital profile online with the status showing of in progress until the police check has been finalised. Once the application's been completed, you'll receive an email alert and you'll be invited into the platform to be able to uh, request the check to be processed through the National Criminal Database at a time that suits your company. So logging back in. Clicking on filter, background check, police check, it's ready to review. And you can see here, this police check is ready to review. So at a time that suits you, you can open up the check and you can either check all of the identity documents and submit the check, or you can configure the system so that as soon as you um, submit the check, WorkPro's team will be responsible for opening up that check, checking the application form, checking the identity documents and checking that the signature matches the identity document along with the selfie and the government photo, photo issued ID. Once our team has checked and vetted that information, it will be automatically processed into the National Criminal Database. Once the, um, the uh, database has processed that check, there are two statuses to be returned. The first status is referred, which means that there has um, there is a manual intervention required by uh, the police nationally and that can take up to 14 business days to be returned. The other status is no disclosable court outcomes. So that means there is no criminal history held, in which case the certificate will be returned to your dashboard and you are able to view that information. Uh, once the referred check has been returned, that will either be returned as a no disclosable court outcome or a disclosable court outcome. If there is disclosable court outcomes, you'll see that information in your dashboard and you'll be able to open up that check, view the certificate, any um, criminal history that is associated with that individual in order for you to make an informed decision based on that uh, outcome. WorkPro takes some um, care of the security, the hosting, the archiving and also the destruction of the certificate. Under normal circumstances, the certificate, the police check certificate will be automatically destroyed within 12 months of completing that check. You will also be able to see the status of the check or the outcome of the check after 12 months 
Um, so if you need to do a recheck, for example, that's really important audit information that you completed a check on a certain day at a certain time. You can also do rechecks and you can schedule rechecks um, at a time and date that suits you. Once that check has been uh, scheduled, you can expect to receive an email alert letting you know that you need to conduct a recheck of that person. That concludes today's video walkthrough. Thanks so much for joining me and I will see you next time.